All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Frank's Crypto Corner, where we bring you all kinds of news and information about cryptocurrency. Things like mining the coin and staking the coin, using that credit card for BlockFi credit cards to get rewards back in Bitcoin, all kinds of good stuff. Today, we're going to be talking about Crow, C-R-O, Cronus, Crypto.com. The coin is up right this second for the day, but it's down for the week. We're going to go to their website, their Twitter, do a little deep dive on Crow, Crypto.com. Also, regulators are a little bit nervous about stable coins after they just saw what happened to Luna. We're going to dig into the article on that. All right, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any up and coming videos. Or go on this channel to help everybody learn about cryptocurrency, understand cryptocurrency, and you know, one day even get to own some cryptocurrency. All right, everybody. Remember, I'm not a financial planner. All my information is for educational purposes only. Let's head over to Crow, Cronus. Over here at CoinMarketCap, as we can see, Cronus, Crow, it's down 26% for the week, just like every other coin on the market. But it has bounced back 7% today, which is good. It's 19% up. I mean, 19% is the coin being sold. Let's click it real quick. Up 7% today. It's at 19 cents, which is good. I don't know. We'll maybe do a price prediction when we get done here. It's hard to do a price prediction for all these coins when everything is getting slaughtered and there's blood in the streets. So, but let's go ahead and take a look here. Right now in the last 24 hours, look, it's going up, 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 which is good. In the last seven days, it's going down, down, down. Uh, it's kind of the story. It started off at 26 cents. Now it's at 19 cents. But for the day... It's actually going up, up, up. It was literally at 18 cents. Now it's at 19 cents. So it's good that the coin is bouncing back. Over here again at Coin Market Cap, looking at Cronus, it's nice that a lot of the coins, you know, Cronus is up 7%. Matic is down 30% for the week, but it's up 8% for the day. Shiba's down 34% for the week, but it's back up for 5%. Even going up here to Bitcoin, Bitcoin is down 12% for the week. Over 30,000 again, um, it's up 4% for the day. Jumping over to Crypto.com, Crow's Twitter account. The best place to buy, sell, and pay with crypto is Crypto.com. You know, again, these advertisements are fantastic. You can't play them because, again, they have copyright. So you want to go ahead and check it out. You know, no more than ever, fortune favors the brave. So you got to be brave in this crypto market. These are fantastic commercials and advertisements. But can't play them because of the actual copyright so you have to go play those yourself all right here's a couple people saying this it's retweeted thank you crypto.com ft and nfts for the airdrops on one side of the note is it me or is airdrops coming in more faster looks like we're seriously about closing the gap and stepping up so a lot of airdrops are happening in it with crypto.com which is great here's another thing it says our team has completed reviews of the luna glinch case and all the users accounts have been re-enabled apologize for the incident will improve to serve our community better which is real nice here's a couple other things this is a security alert if you're on coin gecko website and you're being asked to prompt to by your metamask to connect to the site this is a scam metamask is not going to ask you to connect so don't connect if they're asking you don't connect it we are investigating the root cause of this issue connect with metamask so don't connect with MetaMask if it's being asked, because um, again, it's a scam. Going over to the website here, Fortune Favors the Brave. The world's fastest growing crypto app is Crypto.com. Join 50 million users buying and selling 250 cryptocurrencies at true cost. Spend with Crypto.com Visa card and get up to 8% back. Grow your portfolio and receive a reward of 14.5% on your crypto assets. Buy crypto at true cost. Buy and sell 250 cryptocurrencies with 20 fiat currencies using bank transfers and your credit debit. The only card you will need is going to be Crypto.com. It says earn up to 8% back on all spending with a sleek pure metal card. No annual fees. Top up with fiat or crypto. So if you haven't got your uh, Crypto.com credit card today, you need to get it. A lot of good things are going on. Again, all my information is for educational purposes only. It says deposit with crypto and earn rewards. Take a look here. This is just giving you an example. Crow stake rewards. You've just received 49.34 packs as your 8% pack stake reward. Kind of showing you when you actually use the app and you start staking. Another one right here. Crow stake rewards. You've just received 0.86 BTC as your 4% BTC stake reward. So again, you got Cronus, TrueUSD, Ethereum, Bitcoin, USD, 
Bitcoin, all these good things going on with Crypto.com and Cronus. Trade with confidence on the world's fastest and most secure crypto exchange. All right, everybody, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any up-and-coming videos. Again, a lot of stuff going on. A lot of blood's been in the streets all week long, today being Sunday. It looks like some things are up today, which is good. But again, last week was a bloodbath. Um, the thing that happened with Luna was crazy. US, the UST not being pegged to a dollar. Now it's all the way down to 18 cents or 19 cents. Crypto is crazy right now. We've said it on this channel before. It's the wild, wild west. It, go, you could, it could go left, right, up and down all in the same day. Kind of crazy stuff going on with crypto. So definitely, um, again, if MetaMask is asking you to prompt and to connect, don't do it. It's probably a scam. You have to connect your own MetaMask when you want to do it. You shouldn't be getting um, uh, messages saying to connect. All right, regulators are not um, excited and happy about the stable coins not being pegged to a dollar. Let's go over to article on this. CNBC regulators are getting nervous about stable coins after Terra, Terra stunning collapse. Terra's USD, an algorithmic stable coin that meant to be pegged one to one with the dollar plunge below one dollar this week. Tether, the world's biggest stable coin, also temporarily broke the buck on Thursday. U.S. Treasury Secretary has urged Congress to approve federal regulation of stable coins. Regulators are being increasingly worried about the stable coins after collapsing um, the cryptocurrency venture with Terra. Terra USD, an algorithmic stable coin that meant to be pegged one to one with the US dollar, has erased much of its value this week after a stunning run on the banks that saw billions of billions suddenly evaporate from the market value. Also known as UST, the cryptocurrency operates using a complex mechanism of code combined with floating tokens called Luna to balance supply and demand the stabilization of prices as well, multi-billion dollar pile of Bitcoin. Tether, the world's largest, biggest stable coin, also slipped below the $1 for several hours on Thursday, fueling the fear of the possible from the fallout of UST being pegged. Unlike UST, Tether is supposed supposed to be backed by sufficient assets held in reserves. The U.S. Treasury Secretary Jan Yellen directed addresses the issues of both UST and Tether breaking the buck this week. The Congress is hearing Yellen's and said assets don't currently pose a systematic risk to financial stability, but suggested they would evaluate the cause. I wouldn't criticize it as a scale as a real threat to financial stability, but they're growing very rapidly said the lawmaker on Thursday. They present the same kind of risk as were known for centuries in the corrections with bank runs. Congress to approve federal regulations of stable coins by the end of this year could happen. The UK government has also taken notice. A spokesman from the government told CNBC Friday it's a stance ready to take further actions on stable coins after Terra's collapse. The government has been clear that certain stable coins are not suitable for payment purposes as shared characteristics as unbanked crypto assets, Spokeman said. Also, Britain is planning to bring stable coins within the scope of electronic payments regulation, which could see users such as Tether and Circle becoming subject to supervising the country's market watchdog. Separate proposals in Europe Union would also bring stable coins under the strict regular regulation oversight. What are stable coins? They're sort of like a casino chip for the crypto world. Traders buy tokens like Tether or USDC with real dollars. The token then can be used to trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. The idea is that whenever someone wants to cash in, they can get the equivalent amount of dollars of however many stable coins they want to sell. Stable coins issuers are meant to hold a significant level of money corresponding to the number of tokens circulating. Yeah, it's just like, you know, if you have $1,000 of real money and you put it in USDC or BUSD, that BUSD is going to be $1,000. Now you can take that cryptocurrency and trade it and get Bitcoin or take that cryptocurrency and trade it and get Dogecoin or whatever you want. Now on the flip side, when you, you decide to cash out $1,000 of Bitcoin, it's Bitcoin, you can actually, Bitcoin goes up and down, you know, you, you're watching it in the market. Some people don't feel safe leaving that money in Bitcoin because they can wake up the next day and it could be down 20 or 30%. So the, the theory is, is you put it in stable coins and now that $1,000, you wake up the next day and it's still $1,000. So stable coins now are being looked at by regulators in all different countries. Not a bad idea. But um, again, what's the world to do? Again, the uh, cryptocurrency is the wild, wild west. So make sure you pay attention and I mean, try to be safe. But there's people that were 
putting it in stable coins, and now the stable coin is worth 18 cents. So, all right, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any up and coming videos. Let's head back over to Cronus and Crypto.com. Crow, do a little price prediction and check out the rest of the website. All right, back at the website here. DeFi made simple. DeFi wallet are your keys to your crypto. DeFi earn no lockup period and stable returns. DeFi swap, swap DeFi coins and earn triple yield. Cryptocurrency in every wallet. It was founded in 2016. They have over 4,000 people on their team. There's over 50 million users. Insurance coverage in USD is 750 million. All right, over here doing our price prediction. Coin is down 26% for the week. It has bounced back 7% for the day. Ah, it's a tough one, but I do think it's going to go a little bit higher. 0.19 could go to 0.20 or 20 cents. Again, all my information is for educational purposes only. What we would like to see is the coin get back to the full 26% that it actually dropped. Don't know if that's going to happen this week. Nobody knows. Everybody's just speculating. Again, Bitcoin's at 30,000. It's down 12% for the week. But on Sunday today, it is bouncing back 4%, which is fantastic. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Crypto.com and Cronus and Crow um, down to 19 cents. Do you think it's a good time to get involved in Crow? Do you want to get that Metal Sleek credit card that they have? Definitely go to the website and check that out. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel. Click over here and you can watch about BUSD, a coin that has never went down. And click over here and you can watch about USDC. Another crop farmers. Both of these are crop farmers that I'm doing pretty good in, and I'm not losing any money on the percentages. I already made my money back on BUSD crop farmers, and on USDC crop farmers, I'm 50% of my money back. All right, everybody, it's a Sunday. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you a little bit later on today.